Hey everyone and welcome back. It's a little late. Um, it's actually been another great day at Sturgis here. So the uh, I'm happy to say the first show that I attended was the Cycle Source show and uh, it uh, absolutely wonderful show. Chris and Heather did a wonderful job. They had to have 150 plus bikes there uh, and a very wide, uh, I'm going to say eclectic collection of motorcycles there. Everything from a big wheel lay frame baggers to to completely restored pan and knuckleheads i mean it was just a wonderful show and uh i'm happy to say that the curve bike came back with a uh best original uh award so i'm uh, i'm pretty happy with that I, I think it uh that's exactly what it is original right so our first show came back with best original pretty cool now in my last video from the show i told you guys that I was going to give you a little behind the scenes, right? A bit of a hidden gem. So where I, where I stay in Sturgis, um, let's just say in this parking lot at this particular hotel, you will find the world's best handcrafted motorcycles. It's the, it's the place where the who's who of the industry stay. And of course, they all gather at night and catch up from the you know, the year of craziness in this industry. And it's a time for like-minded people with a true passion for custom motorcycles in this industry to gather, catch up, you know? And uh, it's it's known as Hamster Hill. So anyway, uh, on the hill, again, in this parking lot, you will find the best handcrafted motorcycles and the who's who of the industry underneath the canopy of this hotel. It's quite an amazing thing, really. So I'm not going to talk through this video. What I would like to do is just, I'm just going to flip it around and give you guys a tour of some of these motorcycles. Some of them have an unbelievable history to them. And uh, and there's some highlighted. You're, you're going to see, again, a wide array. Uh, everything from some of Rick Fairless's crazy psychedelic custom bikes to an Arlen Ness original. Uh, to uh, it's it's all over the place. Um, Curly's got a gorgeous bagger here. Uh, the Shadley brothers, they're incredible craftsmen. Um, they've got a beautiful, I believe it's a pan head. Uh, but just again, the world's some of the world's best motorcycles are right here in this parking lot under the canopy. So uh, it's going to get a little bit noisy. Some of the guys are gathered over here and and having a few beverages and enjoying each other. So uh, it, you know it. it nor the noise and let's just look at some bikes so i'm gonna you know there's a ton here but it is dark so i, I can't necessarily i don't think the camera's gonna pick up and show you all of them but uh as we approach under the canopy here I, I think you'll begin to see what i'm talking about so i'm not gonna talk guys i'm just gonna let you see some bikes so here we go So what you're looking at here is a Donnie Smith original, an enormous amount of fabrication on this bike. It, uh, it'd take a while to give you uh, all the details on it. Uh, this bike belongs to Laura Wilkinson uh, and paint by her and, and Dave Perowitz, a really super, super cool dyna. Now this one over here was built by Kurt Peterson of Little Evil Incorporated. So uh, Kurt is a, he he's an FXR purist and a big FXR fan. But he decided his vision for this bike uh, was to do some stretch on it. A really really cool performance FXR with the best of the best goodies on it. Really nice bike.
Now this is one of uh, Curly's. Now this is uh, uh, John Jessup's out of uh, Dream Rides and uh, Perowitz did the paint on this one. A lot of goodies on this one guys. Uh, billet swing arm, uh, speed and science, uh, heads and cylinders, beautiful shovel head. Now this FXR here uh, was built by Tom Kiefer of Franklin Church Choppers up in Pennsylvania. And uh, at in incredible, incredible FXR. <laughs> and of course, there's another uh, there's a curb bike there. And then Perowitz built built this panhead quite a number of years ago. Uh, pretty cool story behind the bike, and then uh, they brought it back. Uh, bought it back, I believe. So they own it now. Jody's been riding it around town. Nice dyno over there. All right, and I mentioned to you about the Arlen Ness original. Hey, what, Jay, what year did Arlen build this bike? You know what? I'm not sure. I, I don't remember. Let's wait, let's wait for Kevin Smith. Did you see where he went? No. Let's see if I can give you guys another view. <laughs> then we get to some of Rick Fairless's un unmistake. You can undeniably Rick Fairless. Another gorgeous full custom by Donnie Smith. And I think this green one is uh, Richard Rawlings' bike, I believe, from, uh, yeah, I know it is, from Gas Monkey Garage. And I hope the light is bright enough. Uh, this is one of the Shadley brothers bikes, uh, by Mark Shadley, an incredible motorcycle. Yeah, and the thing about the Shadleys, their their attention to detail is quite incredible, and I, and they're known. If you ride with the Shadleys, you better be ready to ride hard. I mean, they will 
you know, <laughs> triple digits uh, for hundreds of miles. I mean, those guys ride like crazy. They're the real deal, man. And you guys may recognize this one from uh, social media. This is uh, uh, this one of Paul Yaffe's. Really, really cool FXR. Again, another really nice performance FXR. I'm back out of the light, so I'm going to try to get some more video for you guys when uh, when the, the sun is up and give you an idea. So if uh, if you ever make a trip to Sturgis, again, I would like to encourage you to go to some of these small bike shows that you see scattered around everywhere. Uh, you'll see some of the finest motorcycles you could possibly imagine with a, a myriad of, of handcrafted parts. And quite often there's a story behind each one of those motorcycles and, you know, what they mean, uh, what it means to the builder. So uh, when you come to Sturgis, hit those small shows. You may be surprised at, at what you see. So for here, uh, the finest motorcycles and the most talented people in this industry, the who's who of everybody, they're all collected right here under the big canopy of this hotel. All right, guys, thanks a million for watching. I uh, hope to have another video ready for you in a day or two. Got a couple shows, a couple other rides that I'm going to be going to, and undoubtedly there's going to be some pretty dang awesome motorcycles. So take care of yourselves and each other. Thank you very much for watching. You guys have a good one.